And here we are at last with the NES power pad all hooked up to an Arduino made into a fully USB controllable pad. I'll just show you real quick what it looks like on the screen. I'm going to go ahead and hit some of these, uh, push in some of these pads with my hand, and you'll get to see a visual representation of that. And the test screen here will be a little shaky because I'm zooming in right now. But you'll see that red one pop up. Maybe I can try to put the camera closer here. Let's see, make this a little less shaky. So that's button one, button two. Three is actually right. You see the red dot on the right there pop up. So that's a directional input. And then up is four. Five is button two and so on and so forth. But each pad works great. And uh, yeah, that's all I'm doing. I'm just pressing the pads here. So as you can see, the code works perfect. Pretty cool stuff. Um, pretty easy to do. Uh, I think all things considered, once you know which pitfalls to look out for, uh, there's an enclosure on this. And then I just use some double-sided foam tape to hold it in place. And as I mentioned before, this can be, this, this female jack can be pulled out of an NES. And I went ahead and actually shortened the cable that comes built into this. Um, yeah, not much more to say. It's pretty straightforward and uh, a cool way to make a USB controller out of uh, what is essentially a 1980s Dance Dance Revolution mat. That's all for this. This is Sega Sonic Fan. Sega Sonic Fan. Not Nintendo Fan necessarily. Signing out.